Hey guys, I'm Bowsley and welcome to my channel. If you guys are on the tight budget and want to clear all the end game content, welcome to my budget series. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, babies and elephants, welcome to another new video. My name is Bosley, and today I want to bring for you guys Ice Nova COC, Castle on Crit. Yes, um, this is a new updated version for the new Ritual League. Uh, previously, I made one, um, a video, a build guide, especially a budget one for last league, uh, the Heist League. But I figured that due on demand, there's a lot of people requesting that they want to have a budget version for this league as well. And I actually went and looked into it and actually came up with one. Okay, so this is a budget version. Um, definitely left than 100C. I'll show you why uh, when I explain the gears later on. Everything's cheap and it definitely can clear all most of the content, I would say. Uh, map clearing, everything, it's very smooth. So far, very smooth experience. Never disappoints me at all. Um, as for the build, let's get into the ascendancy. So the first ascendancy you want to talk about is always assassin because assassin is the most suitable uh, role for cast on crit, I would say. So definitely go for assassin first. Now assassin here is a little bit different from what I picked before. Um, I'm going a bit more aggressive uh, in terms of uh, damage and I pick up some different notes because there's some uh, tweaks and tunes on the skill tree here and there due to the new patch. So there'll be a little bit of changes compared to the ones before. If you've never seen the video before, it's fine. This video will work just as good. So uh, as for the ascendancy, now the first thing that you want to pick up, you might want to just pick up unstable infusion first, or you can actually go for Miss Walker first, depending on what you want. So if you go for Miss Walker first, Miss Walker will give you um, elusive effect which is very useful at the early stage when you are clearing the axe but if you're already at the end game and you're just trying to switch to a different build and you don't have to worry about miss walker and go straight for unstable fusion so this one gives you additional uh, maximum power charges and also gives you a chance to gain a power charge when you don't crit or you even you crit and deadly infusion will be the next one so the, this one gives you a base uh, crit chance of 1.5% uh, when you're at maximum power charges and also it gives you five additional percent on crit multi per power charge so at the moment i'm running about seven power charges so that gives me 35 percent increased crit multi on my power charges itself so that is that the infusion uh this is a quite important uh, note that you want to pick up first and then after that you can pick up either one of these so it's either ambush assassinate or either opportunistic so opportunistic will give you 25 percent more damage when you're against one rare or unique enemy so that means when you're single targeting when you're bossing when you're cyrus your shaper whatever it is you give 25 percent more damage and you take 20 percent reduced damage taken when there are at least two rare or unique enemies nearby um i would suggest to go for ambush assassinate first and then go for opportunistic last because the 25 percent more damage it's very good but it's the more not the most important one uh, ambush or assassinate this one gives you a lot more crit multi crit chance and culling strike so this one will be a lot more uh, valuable and a lot more efficient to use this earlier in the game and then after that you're gonna pick opportunistic so that is the flow so uh, if this is your um, just trying to switch to a different build go for uh, stable fusion deadly infusion ambush to assassinate and then opportunistic if you are starting a new character you can go for miss walker first and then switch to these ones later on and that is the ascendancy. 
Now let's talk about the gear choices. Now definitely we are going for two um Cospris Malus. So two Cospris Malus here will allow us to cast more spells on crit. Um, so how spell cast on crit works, uh, I won't explain uh, a lot of details on the uh, attacks per second and the threshold and whatnot. There's plenty of videos out there in YouTube you can actually search, uh, search for that explains how the thing work. I'm just going to show you my gear choices and why do I use them. That's it, right? So I'm using Cospris uh, Malice Dual Cospris Malice because I'm not running CI. I'm not running low life. I'm running life base uh, cast on crit. So life base cast on crit, you don't really need a shield. Um, because usually when you want the shield, it's either where you go for low life or CI. That's when you need to boost up your energy shield. But since I'm not running energy shield, that saves me a lot of cost. I can run dual cosmic spells, which allows me to cast more spells. So how does uh, I just I will just put it a very um, I'll just put it easier for you guys to understand. So how cosmic spells work is uh, how the cast on crit work is that it's not uh, when you put in a bunch of spells into the uh, weapon. It doesn't cast all of it. It only casts one spell from each weapon. So you can't spam uh, multiple different spells into a, and, and hoping everything to blast at once. It doesn't work like that, okay? Just in case you guys don't know. Uh, but if you guys do, so how the sequence works is like this. So aside from the sixth thing that you have here, it will sequence from uh, the right to the left, and then the right to the left, and then the right to the left. So whatever gem here will, on the first, the top to bottom, and the right to the left. So whatever the first gem here, let's say the Frostbolt will, uh, will be here. For Frostbolt will cast first, and then after that it will cast Ice Nova, and then it will cast Frost Bomb, and then it will cast Frost Bite, and then this is the fo uh, Elemental Focus for my uh, Frostbolt damage, and this is increased area effect for my uh, Ice Nova. So that's how the sequence works. So Dual Crossroads Malice is definitely what I'm going for, because I'm, uh, I'm when I'm running Dual Crossroads Malice, uh, it allows me to actually cast Frost Bite, which is a curse, uh, for the enemy to take uh, more cold resist penetration and also the frost bomb. Okay, so dual cost with malice. Uh, for the helmet, just get any inward eye, it will give you a ton of uh, defense and life and energy shield and mana. So, just for defensive purposes, this one you can get for a couple of C. Uh, cost with malice now costs about 20 to 25 C each. So, two of them will cost you about 50 C. Uh, the helmet will cost you less than 3 C, so you can get it for 3 C. Uh, skin of the loyal, you can get one for like 10c. Uh, it's cheap, uh, just because it gives you more defenses and a plus one level to all skill gems. It's just an upgraded version of uh, the Tabula Rasa. Now, the uh, talisman, uh, the amulet. Okay, so the amulet is quite subjective for what you need. So I will suggest you fill up the talisman after you get all the other pieces, and then you see what you're short of. So it's either you're short of life, you're short of resist, you're short of dexterity, you're short of whatever it is, then you can find it from the talisman. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a very simple, a quick look on the PoE trade website, and I'll show you how to search, because believe it or not, this amulet with the anointment for Heart of Vice is only costing me less than 2 chaos, okay? So Heart of Vice, if you know, in order to craft half, anoint half, Heart of Vice on your amulet, you will need golden oil, opalescent oil, and crimson oil. So all these oils will cost you about 40, 50 chaos. Now to save that, and since we are going on a budget, we don't need to anoint it. We can just get a talisman with the anointment already on it. So I'm going to show you now. Just got a quick switch for the, uh, to the Power of, uh, Trade, uh, Excel, uh, Power of Trexel Trade website. So what you want to do is you want to uh, select here and you choose Amulet as the item category. And on the right here, what you want to do is you type allocate, which is allocates, which is the anointment, and then you just type in heart of ice. Okay, that's it. And then you type search. Okay, and then a bunch of uh, talisman will come out, and as you can see, it's only like one chaos, one chaos, one chaos, one chaos. And here you just choose according to whatever that you're short of, and it will fill up whatever gap that you need. So all of them has the Heart of Ice. This is the cheapest option, the best option you can have. And also allocate Heart of Ice if you want to go for the same skill tree uh, allocation as I did. Okay, so this is a very good tip for you guys to want to go save a lot of uh, currency just on getting the gear. So this one will cost you a few chaos. That's it. Okay. As for the rings, just fill up life, resist, life, resist. Uh, and you need to get dexterity on the rings as well. 
to just try to get more dexterity on the rings because you need it for the Cosmos Malice because Cosmos Malice will require you to have 212 dexterity, okay? And ideally, you want to craft channeling skills have minus 3 total mana cost so it allows you to spam your Cyclone without worrying about mana even though I reserve most of my mana. Um, yeah, try to get... Uh, if you can afford it, try to get cold damage against chill or frozen enemies. If you can't, just focus on life, resist, and just get the channeling skills mana cost reduction. So two of the rings. The glove, uh, make sure you get the uh, increased damage against chill, uh, hits and chill enemies. So how do you get this one? Uh, really quite simple. So what you do... Um, so you just go here and search gloves. Okay. And then here you just type chill... Or frozen enemy. Oh, no, sorry. Chill enemies. So just choose the first one, increase damage with hits against chill enemies, and then just click search. And here you can see like one chaos, one chaos, one chaos. And then again, according here, just choose whatever you need to fill up, whether it's resist, whether it's life, whether it's accuracy, and everything. Try to get accuracy if you can, because we need accuracy in order for us to hit later on. Because if we have whole hit, uh, low hit chance, will not be, uh, no matter how high, how much of a crit do you have, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to hit. So uh, accuracy is quite important. So try to get accuracy on the gloves if you can. Okay. And uh, try to get accuracy on your rings if possible. Just try to get accuracy everywhere, but not to worry uh, because we are using precision, uh, level, 20, level 20 precision on our gem. So that gives us a shit ton of accuracy as well in order to, to raise our hit chance. So at the moment now, we are having about 99% hit chance, which is not too bad, okay? So uh, the gloves, again, just to hit with enemies and then everything else, try to get accuracy on it. Um, as for the belt, most importantly, you just want to get the increased cooldown recovery rate. Make sure it's at least, at least 14%. And make sure you have life on it and everything else that you need to fill up. Most important thing on the belt is the cooldown recovery rate, 14%, okay? And the boots, just simple, uh, move speed, life, resist. Very simple rares that you will require. Very simple, very cheap, okay? Um, next up, I'm going to talk about the gem links. So the gem links, as I mentioned before, uh, Cosperous Malice. So uh, Ice Nova, you want two Ice Nova. So one on the uh, Cosperous Malice, one will be on the six link. So uh, on the weapon, uh, Ice Nova, Frostbite, and I increase area effects. So it allows my Ice Nova to have a larger area effect for better clear speed. And Frostbite, it will cast Frostbite on the enemies, which penetrates 45% of their cold resist. On the other weapon, you want to put on Frostbolt. That will be your uh, one of your biggest damage dealing uh, spells. Uh, link with Frostbomb, so again, more penetration. And also Elemental Focus, uh, which gives a big, uh, big boost to your Frostbolt. On the helmet, uh, Flame Dash with uh, Arcane Surge. So as long as you spam Ar uh, Flame Dash all the time, you'll be able to gain Arcane Surge, which gives you more spell damage, which gives you more DPS. Uh, there are much more skill spell gems here. I took them out because I was just leveling up other gems because there's much more other gems that you can put in. So not to worry. I would suggest you can actually change this to red and uh, put in uh, cast, on, cast when damage taken and also Immortal Call. Uh, on the gem links because I actually switched them out for my other character. I apologize for that one. So um, just to remind you here, flame dash with arcane search, and here you can put in cast when damage taken and immortal call for more a more uh, an extra defensive layer on your build. On the main six link, what you want to have is uh, ice nova with cyclone uh, hypothermia cast on crit. Uh, doesn't have to be awakened. You just be added cold damage and concentrated effect, okay? So concentrated effect actually uh, narrows down your area, uh, increase of area, area effect. That's why we have increased area effect on this Ice Nova. So since we are blasting out two Ice Novas, it doesn't matter if the other one is smaller range because it's more focused on the single target, okay? Um, so the auras I'm running will be Precision, Herald of Ice, and Hatred, three uh, main Ice aura Auras. Uh, Righteous Fire, uh, pop them when you actually uh, go against single target against bosses. So uh, just pop the Vile Righteous Fire so that it gives us more spell damage. 
and withering step so it will remove whatever elusive we have and give us a, a huge boost on the elusive which is a 51 percent increased effect of the elusive so withering step is a very good addition but it shares the same cooldown with your flame dash so you have to use accordingly but if you are cycloning when you're not going to flame dash you can just use withering step while you're doing your channeling okay so that is the build setup for the gem links uh, next i'm going to talk about the flash choices now the flash choice is very simple uh life flash with uh, immunity to bleeding uh diamond flash to give us more crit chance definitely the more crit the better uh, Rumi's Concoction for an extra layer of uh, defense, so we have a chance to block and chance to block attack and spell. Uh, Wise Oak, so that we penetrate more resistances on the enemy, which is the all resistance. And Azuri's Promise will give us additional life leech and additional damage as chaos damage. So this is your flask setup. Um, for the Pantheons, as usual, uh, if you're mapping, I'm just going to use Lunaris and Garokan. And if you're single target, just switch to Solaris for single target. Okay. Uh, Bandit will be helping Alira for Bandits so that we get additional crit multi and also all resistances. And last but not least, we want to talk about the skill tree. Now, the skill tree, we're going to start from Shadow, which is over here. You want to move up and then pick up Trickery. So this one gives us some dexterity, some crit and some damage. And then you want to pick up Blood Siphon for life and then coordination for attack speed. And then after that, you want to get Depth per Perception for more accuracy and uh, crit chance and dexterity as well and then blood drinker for more life and then you can pick up um jewel socket over here that's where you put in uh, frozen trail post frozen trail you can just pick this up for one or two chaos just a very cheap gem and then after that this one will give uh, uh, will allow our frostbolt to fire two additional projectile which just gives us better uh, much better clear speed and then I pick up uh infuse for additional power charge no witness so that we get uh elusive on kill so we don't have to get elusive on our boots. So we get elusive whenever we kill. There's 10% chance, but most of the time you'll always get it. Okay, and then after that, you move up here and pick up Rhythm Blood. So this one gives us uh, strength and life and energy shield. And then after that, you move left and then move down here. So you want to pick up this uh, Militant Faith uh, Timeless Jewel. Um, this one will be costing you about 20 Chaos, I think, for the jewel. Uh, make sure you want to get the one that has Dominus on it. So this one will, will change your uh, note here which is supposedly pain attunement it will change it to because we are not running low life so it will switch it to inner conviction so this one gives us three percent more spell damage per power charge potentially 21 percent more power charge uh, more spell damage because we have seven and gain power charges instead of frenzy charges since we are not running frenzy charges it's fine we're just focusing on power charges okay and then alacrity if you if you're short of dexterity like me uh truth seeker for more crit multi and then move this way. So Heart of Vice has really been covered by the uh, amulet. Um, another power node, uh, power charge node over here, a jewel socket over here. So on the jewels, you just want to focus on getting attack speed. You want to get crit multi. You want to get life. That's all you want to get on the jewel sockets. Um, cruel preparation for more life and uh, some resistances over here. Uh, you want to pick up this node over here, Disciple of the Forbidden, and all the uh, allocated nodes along uh, on the way to it. So this one gives us a huge boost whenever we have a power charge additionally uh one minimum power charge and gain power charge on kill uh increase damage on power uh, per power charge crit multi per power charge crit chance per power charge and mana regeneration per power charge and then you want to move down here and then after that you want to pick up this socket here so that's where you pick up a large cluster jewel okay so the large cluster jewel what you want to pick up is you want to make sure there's two jewel sockets and try to get widespread destruction uh that's the most important one i would say the other one is up to you it doesn't really matter all that much the reason why is we are trying to scale as much as uh we can on in terms of uh area effect as you, as you can see earlier in this showcase uh my area effect is not that bad it's quite wide so the clear space is really actually quite decent even without an explosion chest so uh you will notice that i scale a lot of uh, skill effects over uh area effect over here uh, medium clusters you can just pick up um area damage so the one that you want to get is you're trying to get at least one asset dominance. So this one gives you increased area effect if you kill at least five enemies uh, recently. And vast power if you can. So 3% increased area effect per power charge since we have seven. Another additional 21% increase of area effect. Okay. And then the jewel, you can pick up any life jewel that gives you towering threat. Again, 10% uh, area effect and life. 
same thing over here, same jewels, both. And then move down here, you're gonna pick up Arcane Potency, so this one gives us a crit chance and crit multi for our spells. Uh, pick up Purity of Flesh for more life nodes. Uh, another power charge over here. And you can pick up, try to pick up any jewel that has Corrupted Blood. Um, I'll just show you how cheap it is to get a Corrupted Blood jewel, okay? So we're just gonna reset this one. And just put in jewel over here. And just type Corrupted Blood. Make sure it's implicit. And search. Here you will find plenty of Corrupted Blood jewels that cost you one or two chaos. Really, really cheap. And then choose uh, according to whatever you need. Make sure you try to get a Corrupted Blood. It will help you a lot. The end game. Um, and then after that, you want to move down here uh, for Devotion, for more life. And then go all the way here to pick up Divine Favor for more Penetration and Crit Chance and Strength Intelligence. And after that, Discipline and Training for more life. No. And that is, uh, that is about it for the skill tree. Mostly it's life nodes, power charges, um, crits. Yeah, not much on the skill tree, quite straight to the point. And there you have it. Crit, pass on crit, uh, Ice Nova. Definitely a very enjoyable build to play throughout your journey in Path of Exile, Ritual League. Um, this is definitely a uh, very good budget to start off and play and clear most of the end game content without any worries too much um the only drawback i think is uh you lack a bit on the single target so you might want to get a bit more upgrades in terms of like watches i better gears i have like really shitty gears a better armor perhaps better helmet with helm and chan and stuff like that there's, there's plenty of room for improvement for this build not to worry yeah that's about it for the pros and cons so if you guys have any suggestions for the video, if you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any, any suggestions, please drop a comment down below. And I do build guides almost every week. I hope I see you guys on the next video.